Hi, I'm Marty Nimco. Bernie Sanders is the junior senator from Vermont, a self-described Democratic Socialist who ran second in the Democratic nomination for president in 2016 and again in 2020. Jonathan Haidt is professor of ethical leadership at NYU. Prospect and Foreign Policy magazines both named him one of the world's top thinkers. He describes himself as a liberal who values rational thought from all sides. Here I stitch together some of their popular quotations. We'll start with Bernie Sanders. People in American jails are disproportionately people of color. That's the reality in America today. That's a reality that has to change. We become stronger when black and white, Latino, Asian American, Native American, when we all stand together. We have begun a political revolution to transform America, and that revolution, our revolution, continues. Height. On the left, fairness often implies equality, but on the right, it means proportionality. People should be rewarded in proportion to what they contribute, even if that guarantees unequal outcomes. In a weird society, you can detect oppression and inequality even where the apparent victims see nothing wrong. Sanders, and he said the, this the first part of the quote in 2011. These days, the American dream is more apt to be realized in South America, in places such as Ecuador, Venezuela, and Argentina, where incomes are actually more equal today than they are in the land of Horatio Alger, that's the U.S. Who's the banana republic now? He altered that in 2016, uh, saying, when I talk about democratic socialism, I'm not looking at Venezuela, I'm not looking at Cuba, I'm looking at countries like Denmark and Sweden. Height. People who devote their lives to studying something often come to believe that the object of their fascination is the key to understanding everything. Sanders. But we are living in a nation that worships wealth rather than caring for the poor. The Occupy Wall Street protests are, sh are, shining, are, are shining a national spotlight on the most powerful, dangerous, and secretive economy and political force in America. Height. Morality binds and blinds. It binds us into teams, but thereby makes us go blind to objective reality. Once they accept a particular narrative, they become blind to alternative moral worlds. Sanders, do you not agree that Social Security has been the most important and valuable social program in the history of the United States? And if I had my way, we would close down every nuclear power plant in this country as soon as we could safely. Height. Our moral thinking is much more like a politician searching for votes than a scientist searching for truth. Sanders, if you are serious about real health care reform, the only way to go is single payer. Height, if you truly see the other person's way, deeply and intuitively, you might even find your own mind opening in response. Sanders, the Postal Service is a vitally important institution for the American people. It must be saved. Height. People have strong gut feelings about what is right and wrong, and they struggle to construct post hoc justifications for those feelings. Even when the servant, that is reasoning, comes back empty handed, the master, that is intuition, doesn't change his judgment. Sanders, maybe we can agree on this. Citizens in a democracy need diverse sources of news and information. Height, I agree. But media from both sides tries to capitalize on the human mind being a story processor, not a logic processor. Sanders, I want to end this on a personal note. I have seven beautiful grandchildren, four of whom are girls. In any event, uh, I'm Marty Nemco. I thank you for watching. I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like it if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.